Hey, love bugs, it's Ross. I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored, and I definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown, extended, beautiful family, thank you so much for allowing yourselves to just, just soak up the knowledge like a sponge, allowing yourself to just know the things that are coming your way, and just educating yourself about your gift. And with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, like and subscribe. You can hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you feel like you are comfortable enough, go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love to hear from you as much as you hear from me. Or just about the positive feedback of my video. Or you're just telling me about your impact the gift that's been placed upon you and how it impacted your life. And if you feel like, you know, the video has been informative to you or just even put you in a good spot, go ahead and send it to the next person you feel like that needs to hear it. Or, you know, give me a thumbs up, like, and even share. And you can share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. If you... And I hope you get something out of my video and resonate with my video. Thank you so much for stopping by. And with the meditation music I'm listening to today is Activate Your Kundalini Power to, to uh, 12,000 Hertz, Generate Vortex Chakras, Awaken Dormant Kundalini Energy. I was like, when I was doing this, I started feeling tingly and stuff like that. But anyways, the video, <laughs> the, the video, I got chills and stuff up under my arms for listening to it. And I'm like, ooh, okay. But anyway, the video I'm doing today about Twin Flame 101, Wiccans, to tell you the signs if you are being a witch. I mean, my, my um, Twin Flame sister had sent me this article the other day about telling the signs of you being a witch. And I know I've, I did a different video about this, but this is a whole new different ball game. It's just stuff that I didn't even know about. You know, I've been doing, you know, different things about reading about Wiccans and witches and stuff like that. And I had to write some of this stuff down because it was crazy for me to have to, you know, I couldn't remember, I memorized all this stuff. But the first one for you can be, you can be able to tell if you're a witch is your eyes. We have these big eyes. You know, um, there's a lot of people, if, if, you know, a witch can tell a witch by their eyes. You know, we have these alien type eyes. You can, it's just like you can, you suck, you can suck the soul out of somebody. Just, you can just, just get lost in somebody's eyes. And I noticed me and my dad both had those. So, um, you know, and I always hear people when I, I'm in the store, they'll come at me, oh my gosh, your eyes. And I'm just like, you know, I try to look down because I didn't know that they're, they're very penetrating like that. And um, they they say that, what do they say? Um, most modern day witches are either indigo or crystal children. Souls that have incarnated from, from, from here and from other dimensions and star systems. And we have special birthmarks. It says, during the witch trials in Europe and colonial America, colonial America, accused witches were searched for witch marks. And witch, uh, witch marks were extra nipples or marks with unusual shapes. And they said it was su uh, suckled from familiar spirits, according to the witch hunters. However, witch marks could be birthmarks or moles and unusual shapes. They tell a story from the past life. Either they're red or blue. They can be red or blue. And um, and they said the divine symbol or a pattern. This marks the past life, which has been given the part of an invitation or potentially and tortured after accused or executed witches. Uh, birthmarks also show shapes of countries and cynicals and um, ancient alphabet. Now, I don't, my, I know some of my kids have these weird uh, birthmarks. Like, I have one, like, shaped like a strawberry. Or it's, like, shaped like a weird symbol or something in an unseen area. And um, your palm signs. You, um, there, uh, you can have crosses on your fingers. If you look at your hands, there, I, you really can't see mines on here, but you, you can have, you'll see a cross, you'll see cross 
um, indentions in your fingers. I have them on my middle finger and my index finger. And your clairvoyance, there's a circle, which I also have right here. And you are a healer if you have the lines, three or more lines going on the side of your hands by your pinky. And you also, if you see right here on my hands, I have birthmarks. There are perfect circles right here at the bottom. You will have marks on your hands um, as birthmarks or there will be circles going at the bottom. And the crosses are in index fingers. And they said most of, um, they have, uh, let me see, they have the ability to heal. Your intuition, you know, with your with your marks right here, is like strong intuition. I really do have strong intuition. And your birthmarks. I mean, not birthmarks, but your tattoos. I have a tattoo that is a black cat. And it's crop, you know, it's coming across from my heart. So it's just like I have, you know, I have tranquility on my back. And um, I forgot what my other one is that I have. But I forgot that one. I have it written down. That's bad. <laughs> but I've, because I've had it since for over, I had it over 15 years now. So I forgot what the meaning of it, but it was a deep meaning to it. But it's like a lot of us, we, we tattoo ourselves it's just like a deep meaning to it it has a spiritual meaning to it so a lot of them you can tell the difference between that as well and it was like crazy because I was supposed to be getting a black panther and then it ended up being a black cat and I was just like you know I told my tattoo artist why did you do that like that and it was just like everything is meant for a reason it was basically me telling myself that I was a witch and clumsiness <laughs> do you trip over your own feet I am suspect of that I will trip over stuff that ain't even there you know I've seen my dad jump off of, like jump off of speakers in concerts and land on his feet and then fall flat on his face and I'm like how did you do that <laughs> I can see you jumping off a speaker and then falling but you get up and then you fall flat on your face so it's just like a lot of us we have our, our minds and our souls are in like a dimension it's like we have one foot on earth and one foot somewhere else our heads are always in the clouds so you trip over your own feet and it, it's just like we're, we're flighty they said we're flighty like that and um praying knees you probably have like marks or bruises on your knees that you don't understand how they've been there but those are marks from when you, many witches before in different incarnates they have been priests, priestess, and other religious uh, devotees. So a lot of us have been, you know, where we, we've been healing in prayer a lot. So you pay attention to all these things that you have. And it's because it says um, the abnormality of the bone structure or skin over your knees will look bruised and beat up for no reason. And like I said, the priests and the priestess and religious devotees and the um, past life, which, you know, we, which a lot of us have lived in different things. So, you know, if you want to know if you're a witch, those are the main few things that you can look for. So I hope you're able to resonate with the video. Sorry it was so short. Well, actually, it wasn't that short. But, you know, sorry I had to keep looking down because there was a lot of things I want to make sure that I said right. And, you know, I didn't want to tell anybody any wrong answers. But look at your hands, you know. Um, you will see, like, crosses and stuff in your hands. and Because we have so many marks on our hands. You know, we use our hands every day. So, but you if you can tell you will have like I said you will have like crosses on the index of your fingers I have them on my both of my fingers right here you will have lines let me see if you can see mine you can see because I have like three of them coming down like that and they're also this way but you can also see the birthmarks on the bottom of your hands it'll be perfect circles for intuitions not all witches have that but you will have like the healer signs the clairvoyance um 
in intuition, but not all of us have all those things. You can probably have either or whatever. But just, you know, read on to your things. If you, you know, you're wondering if you're a witch, those are some of the other things that you can, that indicate that you are a witch. So I hope you are able to resonate with that. Like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Drop me a line or two. I would love to get to know you. And give me a thumbs up and like and even share on any of your social media favorites. And send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. And know that you are blessed and know you are highly favored. And know that you are also truly loved. And definitely know there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. Blessed be and namaste. Peace and be wow.